Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to learn how to draw a graph of a linear equation in less than a minute without doing any calculation. Yes, you heard me right. We shall be drawing a graph of a linear equation in a very easy manner. So let's just proceed further without wasting any time. First of all, we should understand that a linear equation has a standard format for a graphical purpose. And that format is y equals mx plus c. So whenever you have an equation for a graphing purpose, then you need to make sure that that particular linear equation is in this format. Now I have written down two equations down here. Both of them are linear, but they are not in a specific format for a graphical purpose. So first of all, we are going to apply algebraic manipulation in order to make y the subject of the equation so that we can obtain a format, which is y equals mx plus c. So now we have the two equations in a proper required format, which is y equals to mx plus c. Next important thing which we need to know is that we need minimum two points in order to draw a specific straight line. For example, if we have just one point, we can draw infinite many lines through that point. We can have more than two as well, but minimum two points are more than enough in order to draw a straight line. So we need minimum two points in order to draw a straight line. Now let's just look at all the formats of the equation which are going to give us straight lines. The first one is y equals mx plus c, which we have discussed up there. In this equation, there are two main components. One is the coefficient of x, which is m, which is basically the gradient of a line, which is also known as slope. Second important component in this format is c, the constant term, which is basically the y-intercept y-intercept of an equation tells you the point on the y-axis through which the line is going to pass through. Now there are two possibilities of a straight line when you have this particular format. Either a line is going to rise from left to right or it is going to fall from left to right. That depends on the polarity of m which is the coefficient of x. If m is positive the line is going to rise. If m is negative, the line is going to fall. The second format is y equals plus minus c. Whenever you have this particular format, the line which you will obtain is always going to be a horizontal one. This is different than the first one. Here we have just one variable and then a constant c which again act as a y-intercept. It tells you the point on the y-axis through which the line is going to pass through. Now moving on to the third format, x equals plus minus k. Whenever you have this particular format, the line which you're going to obtain is always going to be vertical. If you look carefully in this format, you have just one variable again, which is x and k, a constant. k is basically a point on x-axis through which a vertical line is going to pass through. Now let's just move on to the graphing techniques. I have four equations here, named as L1, L2, L3 and L4. Let's just draw a line for the equation L1. If you look carefully in the line L1, we have y-intercept as 3. Now this is going to give me one confirmed point on the x-axis through which the line is going to pass through. As I stated earlier that we need minimum two number of points in order to draw a straight line. So I need one more point in order to draw a graph of y equals to 2x plus 3. For the second point, I'm going to rely on the gradient, which is basically the coefficient of x. So gradient is given by rise over run. The gradient in this 
equation is 2, which I can rewrite it down as 2 over 1. This tells me that the gradient of the line is 2 units rise and 1 unit run. So from the confirmed point, I'm going to go across this gradient in order to locate the second point. So 2 units rise and 1 unit run. This is my second point. Now I can draw a straight line through these two points very easily. Now let's just draw a graph of L2. If you focus on L2, the y-intercept is negative 2. So I know my line is going to pass through negative 2 on the y-axis for sure. In order to locate the second point, I need to look the gradient. The gradient of this equation is negative 2 by 3, which means I have a rise of negative 2, which means I shall be going down this time because of a negative sign, and the run is positive 3. So from the confirmed point, I shall be moving across the gradient in order to locate the second point. So a rise of negative 2 and the run of positive 3. Here is my second point. Once I have both the points, I can easily draw the required line. While you're working through the gradients, here is some useful side information about the equivalent fractions. Remember, negative 2 by 3 is same as 2 by negative 3. And positive 2 by positive 3 is same as negative 2 by negative 3. And if you have a fraction 2 by 3, if you double it, the numerator and the denominator, you will get the equivalent fraction, which is 4 by 6. In the same way, if you half it, you will get the equivalent fraction 1 upon 1.5. Let's just move on to the L3. If you look at L3 carefully, it's x equals 1.5. If I try matching with the three of these formats, it matches with x equals plus minus k. Now I know the line is going to be vertical, passing through 1.5 on x-axis. That's it. So 1.5 is going to be between 1 and 2 on the x-axis. So we can draw a line in a very easy way. Let's just move on to the L4, which is y equals negative 2.5. If I try matching with the three of these formats, it matches with the second format, which is y equals plus minus c. Now I know my line is going to be horizontal, passing through negative 2.5 on x-axis. Now negative 2.5 is going to be between negative 2 and negative 3. So I'm going to draw a straight line which passes through that point, a horizontal one. That's it. This is how easy and simple it is to draw graph of straight lines. I hope you learned something out of it. Thank you so much.